Welcome to Friesen Electric's tutorial, connecting a variable speed drive for basic operation. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to adjust the speed of a motor using a potentiometer. We'll use a 1725 RPM, one-third horsepower, 240 volt, three-phase motor, our SCM series variable speed drive, a single pole, single throw toggle switch, and a 5K ohm potentiometer. The first step will be to connect the three wires of the motor to the variable speed drive. Connect each one of the wires to the terminals on the bottom side of the drive labeled U, V, and W. Second, connect one post from each side of the toggle switch to pins 1 and 11 on the control terminal board. Third, connect the potentiometer into pins 2, 5, and 6, so that pin 5 is in the middle of the potentiometer. Fourth, we'll connect the 120 volt single phase power source to the L1 and L2 terminals. Now be sure not to connect any power to the B negative and B positive. If you connect power there, it'll blow up the drive and it won't be a warranty issue. Now we'll supply our power to the circuit. The drive will flash on with three solid dashes. However, we have to program it to know that the potentiometer is hooked up. Press the mode button. Now press up until you get to 225. This is the password. Press mode again, and if you've entered the password properly, P01 will show up. Now we need to set parameter 5, so we'll press up until we see P05. Now we'll press mode, and we'll adjust the parameter 5 to the value of 3. Push up till we get to 3, press mode again, and the potentiometer is now hooked up to the drive. We can turn the drive on by pressing the toggle switch. And we can control the speed with the potentiometer. All the way down, slowly up, This drive comes default with a slower acceleration time, however the acceleration time can be adjusted to a one second accuracy or closer, so that it would speed up and slow down even faster. If you'd like to find out about more of these advanced controls, you can read the manual that comes with the drive or see other tutorials. And if you don't see the instructions you need, let us know so that we can do one that applies to your situation.